JT Smith here, Bearcat Insider. The Bearcats pull off a victory against the USF Bulls, 68 to 54. They get back on a winning track. They are now 23-3 overall in their 12 and 1 in the AAC. They're tied with SMU with the same record. So uh, I know Bearcat fans want SMU to lose. Um, and the Bearcats to win out, so it should be a pretty interesting finish for the last five games. Um, the first half, Bearcats looked a little stymied from the zone that um, USF uh, put on the Bearcats. I mean, after beating them by, I think, 41 points um, tw January 29th, but they didn't want that to happen at their own gym. Um, Kevin Johnson came out, and he was a steady hand, played real under control within himself, had 10 points. Um, Gary Clark hit a shot at the buzzer, had six points, nine rebounds, and three blocks. Um, Kyle Washington played pretty solid also. Um, but they shot the ball real bad in the first half. I want to say they were roughly about 36%. And that's something that <clears throat> um, Bearcat fans didn't want to see, especially after losing to SMU um, on Sunday. But in the second half, they got together and they shot 48%. Um, looked a lot better, attacked the zone uh, so much better. Um, a lot of attacking and cutting, a lot more passing, um, just looking more active. The one thing, even the whole game, the Bearcats defense, they were making um, USF turn the ball over and getting a lot of touches on the ball. So, you know, Mick Cronin, he is an advocate of getting at least 40 deflections. Um, they have 21 turnovers. I don't know if he counts the turnovers as a part of the deflections, but you just could tell as a teenager for being so much more aggressive, and um, that's what kept them. That's what kept gave them control, even though when they were shooting terrible. And then once they once they got a little hot streak, that just made the, the you know kept the ball rolling and you know gave them that cushion where you knew the game was going to be over. Um, it was good to see um, Jacob Evans get a couple of dunks. Um, was attacking a little bit more. Um, just like it's good to see him get into the rim. Um, Troy Copain, he had a little spurt where he finally hit a three, so I know that was a big relief. He didn't hit any threes against USF. I mean, not USF, but SMU. And then he, he finally hit. He missed his first four? No, his first, yeah, his first four. He missed his first four um, today, and then he finally made one. And, he, you know, he had another shot. So he had like a five in a row. Um, little spurt that looks like he just was getting his confidence back as far as on scoring and he's still been playing a good floor general game so that's great um, another good thing is uh, you know Nazir Brooks he played the second game in a row so he knows no setbacks um, after playing a little bit on Sunday he played today on Wednesday so that's great um, this team is pretty healthy knock on wood as of right now um, Jaron Cumberland played pretty solid uh, because of the foul trouble that Jacob Evans was in. He logged 31 minutes, um, shot 50%, 7 points, 4 rebounds. That's pretty big for the freshman. Um, we've seen him score 26, 27 points, so you know he's going to, he's a threat. So if he can stay on the court like he did when they need him, that's great. Uh, that means he's just, you know, he's locked into the game, doing the stuff that Mick needs him to do. Because even with Evans being on the, you know, being in foul trouble, it's ways, it's other lineups he can go with that keep him off the floor. So that's good. That means that the freshman is doing what he needs to do to, to be positive or to do positive stuff for the coach. Um, Bearcats don't play until Saturday as they'll face Tulsa at home. That game was tight at Tulsa, but hopefully with them facing them, um, at, in front of the home crowd, one of the last games of the season in front of the home crowd. Hopefully the Bearcats do real well. Sorry, my allergies acting a little crazy. But um, <coughs> this is a game, you know, a very winnable game. They have to keep winning because SMU is not letting up. Um, tonight it seemed like Tulane was going to upset them, but it didn't happen. So I know Bearcats will be watching the USF, I mean the SMU Mustangs a lot, um, as I will, just because, you know, it's going to make it for an interesting um, finish for the AAC title. Um, but just make sure you guys check out um, Bearcat Insider. I'm JC Smith, and I'm signing out. Y'all have a good one.